It's been another amazing day here at MWC. The show floor is still absolutely buzzing and we've been on the Vodafone stand checking out the latest tech and innovative demos and having a chat with some of our execs. Here are the highlights. And talk to me about what Vodafone Business is doing here at the show specifically. Sure, so we are um, demoing a number of our technologies both across the network space around what we're doing with Vodafone Foundation and in the business area in particular, we're showcasing some of our MPN technologies. We have PairPoint here, one of our um, partner companies, a joint venture between Vodafone and Sumitomo. Uh, we have a really cool solution that shows how we can help network operators manage contention on the network from short video formats like TikTok. We're showcasing the Africa 2 cable. The Hyper Reality Hub Plus manages the compute locally and in the cloud. On a basic level, you can just use a regular processor. If you want more performance, you can just crank up the power, and it'll be like having a supercomputer on your face without compromising anything. Well, I joined the mobile industry because I think what we do is basically revolutionizing people's lives. So we change people's lives every day, right? So, so for me, that's what we're trying to project with this conference. And, and what we're trying to land is we're at the cusp of another big step change in how we impact people's lives through industrial internet. Absolutely. So with the rollout of 5G, we unleash then the industrial internet just as 4G unleashed the consumer internet. So that story, that, that to make people understand what that implies, not, not necessarily like how do I watch cat movies when I lie in bed, but actually it's about, you know, we will revolutionize how you do healthcare, how you do education, how you do farming. So that type of story and that type of engagement and discussing what that implies, what do we need to achieve that? How do we need to partner with governments? What do they need to change in order for us to give maximum back to society? I think that's the, sort of the core of what, what we're debating. We've seen uh, very interesting trends. So there is a, a fundamental trend that is in the next decade, telecom and uh, communication will serve businesses. This is a fundamental. So uh, businesses is going to be the engine for growth for telecom and everybody's recognizing that. So that is the best uh, message that I want to, to bring everybody. Then we are having a lot of uh, um, technical uh, um, uh, specific uh, themes. Um, first of all, private networks are everywhere. Secondly, AI is everywhere, as you can imagine. <laughs> Satellite is really, um, I would say, um, taking a big, big foothold in the um, narrative of all the communication providers. Thank you for coming. So our demo uh, here is about the Skills Up the Junior program, as you were saying, which is, a, which is a digital education program for primary and secondary students all across Europe. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is bridge that digital divide and reaching the most vulnerable students by um, actually bringing digital skills offering into the school curriculum. So